Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you my Sephora VIB sale haul and all the products I picked up. I am a VIB Rouge so I actually ordered these last weekend in the first weekend of the sale but this video should be going up on Monday and if you're watching this in real time then that is the last day of the sale to get a discount on every purchase that you make. I, being a Rouge, get 20% off so this was my opportunity to pick up some products that I had been eyeing for a while but just hadn't been wanting to splurge on and also pick up a f like some things that I kind of like needed and felt were justified. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I picked up is two La Vanilla purchases. And the first one is this Healthy Body Butter. This is their Pure Vanilla Body Lotion by La Vanilla. This is 100% um, natural, I think, or maybe not 100% natural, it's 100% healthy. All natural ingredients, no harsh chemicals. So I really wanted to try this because if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I really am trying to use more natural like beauty products, makeup, skincare, all that. And lotion is kind of one of the final frontiers that it's really hard for me to use natural because it's so expensive. Like it's just so easy to buy the $5 huge bottle of lotion at the drugstore and that lasts a really long time. And this was something like $20, I think. And even with 20% off, that doesn't, I can't, I'm not sure I can justify the, try, the price yet. So I haven't tried this yet, but I wanted to pick this up in the sale because I've been dying to try it and people rave about it all the time. And then I also got their Healthy Fragrance and this is in the Vanilla Grapefruit scent. So foundation, or not foundation, geez. Perfume is one of those things that um, also is really bad for you if you're spraying the alcohol directly on your skin. People talk about kind of the negative effects of it. And this is all healthy, so supposedly this is better for you. I don't know. All I know is that it smells really good. It's like a nice warm, I think winter appropriate scent, but it's not too like deep because of that grapefruit in it. It's a little bit fresh. So I've been loving this. I love the way it smells. I just find that it hasn't lasted too long, but I can't really give full review on any of these products because I just got them a few days ago, but so far I'm enjoying this. Okay, and then this was one I've been using since I got it, but this is a product that I've wanted to buy for probably over five years, like probably way over five years. And I never thought that it was worth it but I've seen so many people use it and finally I was just like, this is the chance, you have a good discount, you're never gonna get a better price for this. And this is the NARS Yachio Kabuki brush and everyone uses this for bronzer or even for face powder. I use this today to apply my bronzer and I mean, it's pretty soft. It did shed some bristles. I'm not sure that it was worth it, but I just had to take my opportunity to get this because everyone talks about this. It's like this and the Tom Ford bronzer brush and the NARS Ida brush are like, the like holy grail super expensive brushes so I just felt like I had to have this in my collection. And then I picked up two more of the Lawless Seal the Deal setting powders. I had the classic translucent one which you see me use in videos in the past. I also did a full video review of that powder which I'll link up above but I wanted to get the two other um, colors which is brightening translucent and golden translucent. So I'm wearing all three of the powders on my face today. I actually have brightening translucent under my eyes and on my eyelids and then I have their classic translucent setting my whole face and then I use golden translucent as my bronzer so I'm just really enjoying these I'm glad I decided to pick up all three once I tried the classic translucent and knew that I liked it this was just the perfect opportunity to get all of them because natural powders is something that's hard to find because I have oily skin a lot of times they're kind of more minerally and just make me get greasy too soon but I've really been enjoying these as well and then two restock purchases the first one is I got a backup of my Kopari coconut oil lip glossy and this this is just their clear lip gloss. I use this every single day and mine's almost running out so I figured I'd better get one because this is something ridiculous like $14 or something. But for a lip gloss that I'm reapplying several times throughout the day, I always have this with me. It's in my purse. I just use it constantly. I'm like feel better about spending more money on it because it is a like more natural healthy brand it's paraben free it's vegan non-gmo cruelty free i mean it's basically just coconut oil but i really love this and it makes your lips super glossy so i just had to pick up a backup the other backup i picked up was i needed a new makeup eraser so i had three and the pink ones just have seen better days. I've had those ones for a long time. And then I have a black one that I use all the time. So I had in my mind to pick up another black one because that's my favorite color. But then they had this. And this is their like limited edition flamingo makeup eraser. And it came in this cute little makeup bag. So there's a flamingo print makeup eraser in there. It's really cute. I just really liked it. Plus a free makeup bag with really cute tassels. And it was the same price as just buying the regular black one. So... 
it, this was totally justified. I use this every single day to remove my makeup and I just am a huge fan of the makeup eraser. And then the last thing was this Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Biotin Dry Shampoo. And this I have been wanting to try for a while. I'm trying to transition away from aerosol dry shampoos, but I just really heavily rely on dry shampoo because I only wash my hair maybe twice a week, sometimes three times. So I really rely on dry shampoo basically every day. And so far I'm really liking this one. It's really easy to squeeze the bottom and open this up and it comes right out. And I got this because um, Briogeo is a, again, a healthier brand. Um, they have that green at Sephora seal on their products. So you know it has healthier ingredients. And I'm a huge fan of the Bumble and Bumble Pret A Powder Dry Shampoo. So I actually also ordered one of those and that's coming in my next Sephora box, but I don't have that yet. But I thought I'd mention that I did pick up one of those. That's like an old favorite and I kind of forgot about it. And the last time I used it, I felt like I didn't really like it. And then all of a sudden, I feel like it's having a resurgence here on YouTube and I've seen so many people mentioning it lately. So I just thought, you know what, I'll try it again. And I broke out my old bottle of it and I just absolutely loved it. So I had to order a new one because I recently finished my really old bottle that I had had forever. So I ordered that one and this one and hopefully these two can kind of keep me off the aerosol dry shampoos. And then the one other thing coming in that box with my um, Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo is I picked up the Verb Dry Ghost Oil, I believe it is. It's kind of like a refreshing spray. I bought it because I saw Sam Oscarell. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. Oz. Curl, Oz Curl, I'm not sure. But Sam here on YouTube, I saw her mention it as something that she uses to refresh her hair when it's really dirty and it helps um, with the smell and make your hair kind of smell better, especially like after working out and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to try that as well. And then before I go, I just thought I'd mention a few more things that I have my eye on that I decided not to pick up because I didn't want to spend too big of a fortune on this Sephora sale, but the first thing is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I've been seeing tons of people using that. I'm a huge fan of full coverage concealers, and this is one that like everyone's recommending that I try. I just haven't been able to get in store and swatch to find my best color match, and I just didn't want to like waste ordering one online if I couldn't get the right color. Plus, I have some full coverage concealers that I'm really enjoying at the moment, so I just couldn't justify getting it, but I'll hopefully be picking that up soon to try out. I also wanted to try the Milk Makeup Kush fiber brow gel. Um, this looks amazing as does the Kat Von D signature brow P precision pencil. I really like Kat Von D because she's totally vegan and cruelty free so I wanted to try those products to kind of replace some of my drugstore products and I also have been interested to try the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter and that's just a chapstick. It's the same brand that makes the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and I mean it's like an $18 chapstick and it just can't be worth it so picking it up in the sale would really be the only time but I just couldn't justify it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's everything that I picked up in the sale, everything that's on the way to me from the sale, and a few items that I still have my eye on but I haven't purchased yet. I do have like 48 or 24 more hours at this point to kind of pick up some last minute items if I change my mind. But leave your recommendations for me down below of anything that you think I should try from Sephora or some of your favorites. I'd love to hear your suggestions. As always, I'm uploading two days a week on Monday and Thursday, so please subscribe right here if you're interested, and then look down below in the description box where I'll have everything listed that I mentioned. As always, I love you guys, and thank you so much for watching.